बिस्मिल्लाहमान रही डी स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर वेल एंड डूइंग ग्रेट द वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स इन द इकोनॉमिक जोलॉजी कंटेन इंस्ट्रक्टिव एंड एजुकेशनल कंटेंट दैट इज बोथ शेयरेबल एंड इजी टू रिटेन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट माय प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इज बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन इकोनॉमिक जोलॉजी देयर इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ माई टॉपिक नंबर वन इज द पैरासिटिक प्रोटोजोन्स कॉजिंग द डिजीज इन ह्यूमन्स एंड द एक्टोपैरासाइट्स एंड द एंडोपैरासाइट्स ऑफ शीप्स एंड गॉड्स नंबर टू एपिकल्चर एंड सैरिकल्चर नंबर थ्री एक्वाकल्चर एंड फिशरीज नंबर फोर पोल्ट्री एंड डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स नंबर फाइव पेस्ट एंड पेस्ट कंट्रोल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्क्राइब वट इज इकोनॉमिक जोलॉजी इकोनॉमिक जोलॉजी डील्स विद द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ जोलॉजिकल नॉलेज फॉर द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द मैन काइंड इट इंक्लूड्स कल्चरिंग एनिमल्स फॉर मैस प्रोडक्शन फॉर ह्यूमन यूज एंड टू कंट्रोल और इरेडिकेट एनिमल्स दैट आर इंजरस टू मैन डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली देर आर सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट इन इकोनॉमिक जोलॉजी नंबर वन इज द पैरासाइटिक प्रोटोजोन A protozoan's parasite is basically protozoan that has adopted to invade and live in cells and tissues of organisms. We could say that a protozoan took lessons from a parasite to learn how they live and survive, and then slowly started changing to become more like them. You can see some parasites. Parasitic protozoans. There you can see the examples of protozoans like Giardia lambella, Plasmodium, Paramecium, and these are the some pictures of these parasitic protozoans. And then human parasitic protozoan disease. Number one is malaria, African sickness leaf, Chagas disease. and these are some parasites which cause disease in the humans some symptoms of protozoan disease is number 1 fatigue abnormal cramps gas nausea and weight loss one parasite giardia lambella we discuss and this parasite cause diseases in humans by disturbing our domestic problems drinking water sewage meat fruits and vegetables and livestock in such way the giardia lambella affect the humans there are two main endoparasitic protozoans which are present in the digestive tract number 1 is the spironucleus mirus and number 2 is the giardia mirus these are the some diagrams of these two main endoparasitic protozoans the second basic topic which we discuss in the basic concepts in the economic zoology is the apiculture it is defined as the bee keeping or apiculture is the maintenance of bee colonies commonly in man made hives by humans most such bees are honey bees in the genus apis but other honey producing bees such as Milipona stingless bees are also kept a location where bees are kept is called an apiary or the bee yard this is the a short struggle to see how bee keeping is occurred and how the people get honey from these bees next is the bee life cycle the bee which produce honey first of all a queen lay egg you can see in this diagram first of all a queen lay egg it forms larva changes into larva pupa and then adult and this adult again become a queen and this cycle continuously start the importance of this apiculture is that it provides bees with a safe place to work or live number 2 provide environment in which to study bee inhabitat 
and the behavior be habitat and the behavior uses what are the uses of honey honey is a very 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 good thing that prevent cancer and heart diseases it also reduce ulcer and also useful in the regulation of the blood sugar the number third basic concept is the sericulture sericulture or silk farming is the cultivation of silkworms to produce silk bombax mori is the most widely used and intensively studied silkworm this is bombax mori which grow on mulberry leaves importance of sericulture is number 1 it is a gainful employment number 2 it is an economical development process number 3 improve the quality of life of the people in the rural areas number 4 also prevent the migration from the rural areas to the urban areas as a study that the sericulture is the silk products producing process then there is this life cycle of the silk producing process in which the bombax mori the adult moth it lays egg and then eggs become a thick black caterpillar then it changes into larva larva form a cocoon cocoon white white material white colored material called cocoon in the cocoon caterpillar change its shape you can see this cocoon ke andar caterpillar ne apni shape change kar li and then it become an pupa and then adult when pupa change into adults then this life cycle again start the number 4 concept is the fishery our fishery is an activity leading to harvesting of fish it may involve capture of wild fish or raising of fish through aquaculture there are two main types of fishes number 1 island fishes and number 2 the marine fisheries the goals of the fisheries management are is to produce sustainable biological social and the economic benefits from renewable aquatic sources and this is the graph of goals of fisheries management the next basic concept is the poultry poultry in animal husbandry birds raised commercially or domestically for meats eggs and feeders types of poultry consist of number 1 land fowl number 2 water fowl and number 3 games and other and such in such a way a uh, ek huge area par ek wide area par poultry ke liye animals ko grow karwaya jata hai further we discuss the pest a pest is any animal or plant which has a harmful effect on human their food or their living condition some examples of pest are this leaf hoppers trippers mites beetles and when these pest attack on any field it destroyed all part of the field and you can see a picture of a leaf destroyed leaf which is affected by the pest the next one is the pest control means how to we control the these pests which are harmful for us pest control is the regulation or the management of the species defined as a pest this can be achieved by monitoring the crops only applying insecticides when necessary and by growing varieties and crops which are resistant to plants some control methods methods are the biological control methods and the physical pest control which consist of fumigation and sterilization and this is all about my presentation topic thank you